Today I'm going to share with you a code you can use where you can start your scenario at a random helicopter crash site. Let's go to the map and we're going to go to this location and we're going to place down two helicopter pilots. These are going to be our players and we're going to name these guys. We're going to edit this guy. I'm going to name him player one. And we're going to edit the second guy. And we're going to name him player two. And we're going to make him playable. Okay. Now you could do this with more players. I'm just going to do it with two for now. We're going to go to props. And then down to wrecks. And then to helicopters. And we're going to choose a Blackfoot wreck. I'm going to put him right here. I'm going to spin him around. And put them right about like that. Edit the wreck and give it a variable name. And we're going to name it my heli wreck. And hit OK. All right, that's all we need to do for that part. Next, we're just going to our playable units in conjunction with the uh, the wreck. And that's all we need to do with that part. Next, we're going to go to Markers, and we're going to go down to System and then Empty. And we're going to place a marker. We're going to place five markers. We're going to just edit this first one, and we're going to name it M1. And then hit OK, and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. Press Control c One, two, three, five. Right, so these other markers, we're just going to name M2 and M5. All right, so we have five markers. We're going to take these markers and spread them out. So we're going to take this guy. How about right here? Go like that. All right, so that's one spot. And we're going to take this guy and put him right about here. Probably not next to the tree. And we're going to go over here. And let's see. Let's place this guy right here. M3. That's fine. And let's go to the next island. Now you can do this with more markers. I'm just using these five. And let's go to this island. Alright, so that takes care of the markers. Let's save our scenario to crash site. Now that we have that saved, we're going to open our scenario folder. So we're going to go to the top left and go down to open scenario folder. So for this code, I'm going to share with you. It's in another scenario that I built. And I'm going to copy this script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this script in the description of the video so you can download it. And when you get it, put this into your scenario. Let's take a look at this script. So at the beginning of this code is a dynamic blur effect. So what happens is when the mission starts, the screen will be black and then it'll blur in uh, to clear. And then you'll get what's a, a title cut, which is, I just put this for, for the heck of it, uh, Island Escape. This will be your name of your mission if you want. Then it's going to be black in and it, this is going to be like seven seconds. This is eight seconds. Here is where we define how many players and the player names that are going to be in your scenario. If you have more than one player, then just put the player names here. And all you need to do is just add a comma and then put the player name. But we only have two players. You don't have to name them player one or player two. It could just be whatever name. Just make sure the names are within these brackets and separated by a comma. Down here is 
this line right here is what we named the helicopter. So it's got to be in three different spots. You can see the spots where they're lit up at. So that's where they have to be. And then we have the markers that we placed on the map, which is these five. You can add more if you want. Just separate them with a comma and put them in quotes just like that. When the mission starts, the helicopter and the players will be randomly positioned on one of these markers. You don't know where they're going to start. All right, let's play the scenario. All right, you can see how this island escape in the middle and it fades in. And we started at our helicopter. Let's go to the map and see where we ended up. So we ended up way over here. So if we restart the scenario, we should be somewhere else. Yep. And let's do it one more time. And we showed up over here way on this map. Let's do one more time. And now we're down here. Alright guys, I hope you like that. Just remember you can do that for multiple players and you can do it, you know, through MP land it should work. I want to thank you guys for watching and for more codes and scripts. Take a look at this playlist.